Hey Trojans, this is Mr. Gardner with video four for returning to school. This is a series of five videos. The first video we talked about entering school, the mornings of between 9.20 and 9.35, and then what entering the school looks like after 9.35. So hopefully you've seen that video. If not, please go back and watch it. Video two is about our wellness check stations before classes start and hallway traffic. Video three is about our bell schedule classroom protocols, Troy time, and then lunches, okay? One thing about Troy time, just remember, we don't leave our fourth period. We'll have a lot of uh, air traffic going on during Troy time because you could have 10 kids in the classroom and a teacher, and you all could be in 11 different Troy times. So bring your headphones, bring your earbuds. We'll have extras just in case you forget yours at home. Um, but it could be, um, could be a lot of fun. We just gotta make sure we kind of stay in our own space, kind of keep our voices down and we get our, our, our earbuds in. And then the last thing on video three was lunches. Um, this particular video is video four. It's on restroom protocols and also about how we're gonna exit school at the end of the day. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to presentation mode and let's go ahead and get started with that. Okay, I'm gonna try to zip through this pretty quick. You can go back and watch it again if you forget or miss anything. All right, restrooms use and exiting school. Our safety goal, as you know, Auburn High School students and staff will go home healthy. We don't just have a goal, we have a plan that fits our goal, okay? And so if you need to use a restroom, okay, there's a, there's a term we're gonna use, two in view, and it's really a question. If I see two in view, that means I'm not gonna walk into the restroom. So I might be entering this door right here. If I see two others in the room already, um, or as I walk in, I notice there's one over here and there's one there. I'm just going to turn back and I'm going to go stand on that circle where it says, please wait here. Remember, if an administrator walks in, we should never see three people in a restroom. Should be two only and taking care of your restroom business. Um, if someone is already waiting on that circle, that spot, and it's during passing time, just keep going, head to class. You'll just have to use the restroom after you've checked into class. So remember, two in view. Also does not count students who are in a closed stall. You don't need to count feet below the stalls, guys. Okay, next thing, very general. Classroom door, or sorry, restroom doors will remain open for maximum air circulation, okay? Please don't mess with the doors. Just know they're gonna be open, okay? In case something happens with the HVAC, all of our bathrooms are interior uh, rooms and there's no windows, so we gotta stick with that plan. Um, the next thing, in all restrooms, you've got sanitizer, actually antibacterial soap, and you've got a great system here, sink, warm water, cold water. It doesn't stay on. Please don't mess with those. We're not going to do anything to make any flooding, okay? We're going to use our restrooms. We're going to use them well. We're going to use them with respect. All restrooms will have a protect your health sign on the wall as a visual reminder. We're just going to keep those up there forever. They're just great reminders. If you're in a hurry, you go to use the restroom as you're walking out. Oh, yeah, I have to go back and wash my hands. Um, so those will be up there to remind you. Um, what happens if you need to use a restroom during class time? Okay, just know this. Only one stu student per class can leave the classroom. Inform your teacher. Teacher needs to acknowledge you. Okay, they might say not yet because you might be getting to a key point of a study point. They might say there's already a student out of class, which you didn't know, and you got to wait till they get back. Once you know it's okay to go, sign out with your leaving time and every teacher will have sign out sheets. I don't know if they're gonna look exactly like this, but you're gonna neatly print your name, the date, and then the time you left. Then you go to the restroom, uh, take care of your business. When you come back, you're going to sign in and then just go have a seat. You're gonna use your own pen or pencil. We're not gonna have a, a supply of pen or pencils. You use your own, that way you're not touching anything else. Note, if a staff member sees you in the halls during class time, they will ask what class you're coming from, where are you heading, and if you signed out. If you didn't, just go back and do it. It's okay, we forget to do things sometimes. We're all just human beings. But I guarantee you, if, a, if, a, if an adult sees you in the hallway, they're gonna ask you, where are you going? Did you sign out? And just be respectful. We're doing our jobs. We're not handing out hall passes because we don't want a lot of touchy-touchy stuff. We're trying to be very COVID safe. Also remember during passing time, please adhere to our two in view. Wait at the stand here circle if needed. Keep walking if the stand here is already occupied. Okay, how do we show Troy? By 
showing we're together. We practice safe hygiene for ourselves and others. We use the restrooms only for their intended use. Follow the two in view, practice. Use the please stand here circles as needed. Give privacy, and this is how we show respect. Give privacy and respect to others. Keep bathrooms clean for everybody. Organize, plan to use the restroom before leaving home when possible. Try to use the restrooms during passing and at lunch whenever possible. During class time, remember to inform the teacher, sign out, sign back in. Restroom use after the first 10 minutes and before the last 10 minutes of your class time. If you're in those first 10 minutes, teacher's probably gonna tell you no. It's an emergency, you know, just be honest with the teacher. You shouldn't have too many of those. And definitely the last 10 minutes of class, we need everybody there because we're cleaning tables and doing all that stuff. Uh, how is this about you? You take care of your restroom usage in a, in a timely manner. And one thing a student gave us, uh, well, students gave us a lot of this information, but the one that really stands out is the student says, yeah, people just need to flush every time. Um, the other thing is practice good hygiene and COVID-19 safety for yourself and for others. Okay, in sixth period before the end of the day, this is how we're going to leave school, okay? We've got to make sure we clean up the room. Uh, take care of all the surfaces we've touched. Teachers will do the spraying. Students will be doing the wiping downs with the microcloth, throw them in the orange bucket. Teacher's going to let the class know when it's time to clean desks, okay? So don't start that on your own. Your teacher or your substitute teacher is going to say, okay, it's time to start. Um, same protocols as every other class. Students closest to the door will leave first. Those furthest away leave last. Always go right when exiting into the hallway from your classrooms. Those are things you should already know. Okay. Leaving time is 2.45. There will be a bell. Just know this. If you are riding a bus, you got six minutes, okay? That sounds like major hurry up time, but it's always been that way. Just remember that. Since I've been at Auburn High School, that's how quick the buses get to Auburn, and they pull away six to seven minutes after the end of the day. It's going to feel like it's going really fast at first, but it starts to slow down because you get used to it. So students, you got six minutes. I know you got this. There'll be people out there to help you. If you're confused, just ask an adult, especially if an adult has a walkie-talkie. All right, for the rest of the school, we'll be really focused on getting the bus kids out of here, the kids on the bus. And then for the rest of us, we need you moving towards exits. Um, if students who are involved with after-school sports, in-person club meetings, you know, you can only meet in certain groups of sizes. I think right now at this time, it's five. Um, but your advisors will tell you exactly where to go and you need to be there by 3 p.m. There shouldn't be anybody walking around the building after 3 p.m. except the administrators. Students riding the school bus must be loaded on their bus by 2.51. Okay, we got 12 exit points, okay? I'm pretty sure I didn't account for every single one of them on this little photo right here. Um, I'm thinking we got more like 15 or 16, but every exit point you can use to leave the school at the end of the day. You want to be strategic about that because, for instance, if you're over here in the bus zone, and I'll have a picture of that in a minute, you don't want to walk out over here on the east side. So they're all available. I'm going to give you some clues here as we move along which ones to take. Masks will remain on your faces until you've left the campus property for the day or have gotten into your own vehicle. Masks will be worn on the bus. Okay, so here's some of the south end exits. Okay, these are at the end of the two wings, 100 east, 100 west the main entrance right there coming in from Main Street, okay? You can leave through those doors, but you can't come in unless uh, you're only going into the attendance office, you know, during the day. So hopefully that brings back some of the information we gave you on the first video. Those riding the bus, um, you definitely want to exit on the west side of the school. This might will be probably the main thoroughfare. If you're coming down the main stairs, you probably want to hit this exit. And then you head right out to the buses. Here's kind of the east side of the, of the commons, These, this photo here. You can exit out into the east commons. You can exit out to these commons up here on this north uh, east corner over by our drama classroom and our electronic classroom. Just know they're both going to put you out into the east courtyard, and you need to continue north outside to walk out by the PAC, okay? So that's the only way you can go from there. This is not the way to the regular school buses. Okay, for those exiting from one of the 500 classrooms or maybe from the gym area, if you're going to the west side, this is the door you'd wanna use. That'll get you out to the buses too. This is by our metal shop and right by our uh, horticulture classroom. All right, this is the gym foyer. 
This is over here to the right is double doors by our automotives program and also by our health room. We got sports med, we got some other classrooms along here, but you can also use this as an exit. It's not an entry, it's an exit, but you can use that at the end of the day, that gets you out into the north lot. Other thing over here in the foyer, these are the only doors you can enter the school before 935. You can use all of these doors to leave after 245. All right, bus zone. Just put together a little diagram here for you. Um, this is the sidewalk you're going to want to stand on. Okay, we don't get in the blacktop. We stay on the sidewalk, and buses are going to be all along there. We're going to help you figure out where your buses are going to be as far as the numbers. Maybe your drivers gave you some clues in the morning, but there'll be adults out there to help you the first few days. Well, every day for that matter. We want to social distance as we're getting on the buses. We want to maintain that during the day. Keep our masks on. Um, this little blown up version of just the sidewalk area right there. We're going to show you if we need to start using like concrete tape to get people in lines, we can do that. We don't want to do that. We think our students know what six feet is, is basically two big steps. Just keep that kind of distance from each other. Okay, how do we show Troy in exiting the school? We exit classrooms using our nearest to furthest protocols, okay? That means those closest to the door leave first, those in the middle next, those furthest last. Always turn right when entering the, entering the hallways. Try to go to the nearest exit out of the building if you're a walker. Respect, mass on, maintain six feet of social distancing as you move to an exit. Follow your coach or advisor's plan for your specific meeting place or time if you're doing something after school. Most people aren't, but those who are, you got to follow the plan. Organize. Bus riders, please exit through the west courtyards. Student drivers, please try to exit through the north gym foyer. You can walk out the south, but you're going to have to walk all the way around to get to your car. If it's a beautiful day, that might be okay. Walkers, please try to use the nearest exit from your sixth period class. Once you leave the school, the only reentry after 3 o'clock is going to be through our main office or once you've left the school. Main office will remain open until 4. You're going to have to stand in front of the school, dial a number, and they'll let you in if you forgot something in the building. You, everyone has the basic right to go home healthy and safe. That's every one of you. Please practice correct safety so that you and others can be guaranteed this daily. We want our school to be safe for you and all staff members. Uh, this is on every one of our slides. Let's play it safe. If you're not feeling well, once you get to school, we have protocols for that. That's what the next video is going to get into. We wanted to save that for last. We wanted to make sure everybody knew the way they're going to get in, around, and out of school. Next video is going to cover a lot about safety. Thank you for listening. Um, you've got all four videos. You can go back and review if you missed anything.